It says it's recording. Okay, I'll be going over the dual credit policy and what needs to be changed. First off, I want to tell you a little story. I have a friend in college, he did dual credit in high school, and when he tried to transfer to college, he lost two out of the four classes that he actually took for dual credit because the faculty qualifications weren't set for the college that he was going to. So this had, for him, he has now he has to take the classes over again and cost him time and his money to do this. The problems right now with the dual credit policy in Missouri are the uh, qualifications for the faculty. The faculty actually have to have a master's degree and if they don't, it means that they can't teach the dual credit class. There has to be a transfer of credit. The, the credit transferability is um, you, they can only have to take five courses to, to transfer. No more. Can, you can't go over five courses. The third is the elig elig eligibility of the students. The students have to have a 3.0 and have to have written um, so letters from the uh, from their teachers and from their principals stating that they can take these dual credit classes to actually take them and be enrolled, have the credit for, take the credit for uh, college. Next is the uh, ag written agreements between the colleges and the high schools. If they don't have written agreements, it means the credits will not transfer. Now there's a few solutions that we can do with these and if the um, if the schools don't have the um, teachers that have with master's degrees, so the students can take them, they can get the get call instructors from from a nearby college to teach the class. So the students will will be able to take them and not fall behind in the in the college. Uh, instead of taking dual, dual credit to transfer, you can take dual enrollments, which is actually you would be you're going to be in high school and also taking college classes during this time. Uh, second one, third one is uh, for the eligibility of high school students. You can lower the from a 3.0 to or to 2.5, and also to take these dual credit classes, you have to take tests, in which you have, if you don't pass, it means you can't take them. And if um, even some of the college students don't have to take these tests because they're already qualified. So uh, why sh should the high school students have to if the college students don't have to? Uh, and then the policy for changing the college the, uh, for the agreement, you can have all the colleges in, in Missouri and all the high schools in Missouri have one full policy where all the credits will transfer don't, no matter what high school you come from or, and no matter what college you transfer to. Now the, the benefits of this, the students would uh, be able to finish college faster with uh, less spending and the uh, less time spent and their money spent, and uh, they be able to get their degrees faster and cheaper. Now the colleges um, during this time they can the government will actually give them more money because there's more students in their classes, and uh, they'll get more money from the government and get more money from the students that because there's more students. Now, uh, take action. You can contact the Missouri Department of Higher Education, which is where I found all my information, and uh, contact by uh, email them or uh, get in touch with your school and do that. Uh, yeah, get your school involved in changing this policy so future students can have more dual credits and be able to get their degrees faster. And you can also uh, try to get hold of the Missouri government, which is how that is for them to change this policy and for us to vote on it. And thank you, that is all, that's not all my work cited.